back to the, the Makuni, I'm always trying to get more power out of the little bike and that's what makes it fun. I could go out and spend the money if I had the money and buy a Hayabusa or the KX 1400 Kawasaki that uh, very powerful motorcycle but I, li I like these little bikes because I want to see what, what kind of if I can make them go faster like just like the movie Building a Faster Indian that was the American name for the Australian movie and I guess it has a different name outside of uh, the continental, continental United States the carburetor and I'm going to have to lean over here the carburetor I have on right now is a Sudco KN Full Race carburetor. What I have to do is the power valve will go right where this orifice is right here. I'll have to drill a hole right here, put the power valve down inside it, drill another hole for this, and tap a, a hole for the screw to hold the valve in. And then what you're supposed to do is take out the overflow valve in the in the, um, I'm gonna kill that fucking dog. <clears throat> I hate dogs interrupting my, my video. So, just kidding. I'm not gonna kill it, but I still hate the bitch. You have to hook up the power valve to the overflow down in the carburetor bowl. I wish I could show you this better, but it's right against the wall, and I'm too lazy to get in there and move it. Once you do that, then comes the fun part, where with the Makuni right here comes three little jets that with the, with the power valve. These are only for the valve. And what you have to do is what we're trying to do is that under high speed riding, I've gotten up over 70 miles an hour, but for some reason I can't get uh, I'll get close to that within five miles, well, usually less, and I don't know if the carburetor is leaning out. What this what this does is shoots extra fuel into the Venturi at high speeds. In order to do that, the rubber hose here is connected to the overflow in the uh, the overflow in the they're going to leak in the roof. It's connected to the overflow in the carburetor and then it's connected to right here and if you look down in there you can see where it's I don't know if you can see it that well but there's brass in there and these these um, jets fit in there and what they do is they compensate with your standard jet to give you more more top end but you have to be careful you have to balance out the new jet with the old jet as far as sizes because you're you're putting more fuel into the carburetor so you want to have an adequate amount of fuel during your low and mid range and then have more on your top end so that's what makes it kind of fun to, to see if I can get it to work and of course there's an o-ring right here and you can see where it goes on the top of the carburetor and then I have to tap in a, a screw hole right here. It'll be kind of fun to see if it's going to work. And if it doesn't work, well then, you know, I've got six or seven other carburetors I can I can play with. But that's what's coming up. Also, my Pirelli uh, labeling has worked really well with this ink pen here. As far as that goes. And then it's all back to Dio's because I'm going to uh, the gentleman that owns this ruckus is going to be coming back for spring because he's a snowbird, which means that he flies south for the winter and plays tennis all winter and he's retired and I wish him the best. But then he'll come back in spring when it, everything's warm here and he'll pick his bike up. Then we'll get on to building the deal and I'll show you the problems that I have that I, I can't, can't quite figure out.